You're going to have to do it, people. Whatever God has told you to do outside of these doors, you're going to have to girdle yourself up, wrap yourself up, get your sword, get your word, get your oil, put on the right shoes. You're going to have to put on the boots you didn't have and strap them on and go out there and do it. We are stopping these seats from being filled. Nobody else but us. Not anybody to put their witchcraft ceiling on it. And, and not anybody that says it ain't gonna never grow, it ain't gonna never happen, it's not gonna ever open up. It's us to stop this growth. The members, the people that sat up here and said that they love God and they love these two people and they're gonna support them. We're gonna be like what? The the sticks up under Moses' arm. You all know that story, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. But I didn't exactly know how to say this. And one time when I, I said, I think I know what I, I, you want me to say, but there were three people here. I'm not having these two up here. <laughs> Nobody out here to hear me. The members are here. But well, there's a good portion of us here today. And I'm just telling you, and this is for me too, because I know I've done this and I've doubled, uh, uh, dabbled a little in other places. But God is also telling me to do something more. And I'm telling you, I'm asking you, I'm almost begging you, because if we don't do what God is telling us, pick up the words, the messages, the gifts, the anointings. And we've got the anointings and healings in this place. And we're sitting on them. Not moving out. Oh, I can't do it because I got my husband, my children, my job, my friends, my clubs, and what I want to do for me. But I'm telling you, look at your life, look at your schedule, look at your days, look at your nights. And if God has given you something extra and he wants you to go out there and use it and do it to show, what are we doing when we do when we go outside those doors? We're showing the fruit that we've gotten from these two people up here. And if we can't do it, then we're sitting down on God. We're sitting there. Why? Well, I, I just can't. I'm too tired. I can't do it. I can't find the way. We can find the way. Because if he's opened up these gates and these portals for us to go through, we have to go through them if Cornerstone is to be exactly what everyone tells us is in our destiny to be. We've got to go through them. Because again, Something was buzzing in my head this week, and it was said, I asked God, so what is the buzz? Because I thought I was getting a headache. I thought someone was, you know, I have this nervous disorder. He said, oh, that's the radio broadcast. I said, what radio broadcast? We stopped the radio broadcast. He said, it's coming back. Amen. And I'm saying, whoa, that means that we're about to get enormous financial blessings in this place. Amen. There's so much financial blessings. It costs money to be on the radio. But I tell you, Cornerstone, yeah, when this is our season to be blessed. You are so right. But when we see the blessings, we know how to make them happen. Let us not sit on it. Let us not say, I can't do it. Hey. Let us remember whose we are and why we are here. We're here because the book of Revelation tells us that we were born to be in his presence. Yes. That's why we're not in service. Because we were supposed to be in his presence. We were created to be in his presence. You can't be in his presence if you don't listen to him. And I, I hope that those who understand what they have to do are not offended. But do it. Do it in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thank God. Amen. Some things just need to be said. Amen. Amen. Remind me uh, in the Old Testament when they the people was building their own houses and neglecting the house of God. Y'all remember that? And God blew on their stuff and stuff started drying up 
Stuff started falling apart. It's stuff. I mean, they, they, I got, they was in the, the God blew on what they was doing. So we cannot. I thought about that as prophetess Mary was speaking about neglecting to do the things in the house of God that we know to do and should be doing. Amen. Amen. Uh, he said to the disciples that he was going to make them fishers of men. And so we ought to have that mentality to go out and to fish and sheep beget sheep. Amen. And, and I thank God that I'm talking to folks all the time outside these walls. Amen. Sometimes I have to put on my evangelist cap. Amen. Amen. And go on and do what <laughs> does say the Lord. See, I don't have no hang-ups in doing whatever God uh, assigned me to do. Amen. Amen. Ain't no chaperone in my body when it comes down to doing uh, God's will. He want me to preach. He want me to sing. He want me to prophesy. Lay hands on folks. I'm open. And that's how we, we have to think. Amen. To be used of God. To be a vessel. Amen. Make sure your vessel is, 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 is together now. Amen. Make sure ain't no crack at the bottom or on the side. Make sure that it's whole, amen, so God can pour into you. Amen, somebody. Amen. Amen. Oh, like it. I just feel like one of those preachers. <laughs> amen. Uh, did you have something to say, honey? Amen. I thank God for that word and timely word. And I thank God for Brother Charles uh, fixing my bullhorn. I have a bullhorn now, and uh, I'm going to meet with the saints, and we have partnered with Voices to do an outreach on the street. All right, now. I have, was trying to get a lot, but haven't been able to do that. But however, the Lord has given me, we will open the doors of the church, and we will build our prayer station outside. It will be a booth, and it will say, label, say prayer station. But in the interim, with the two ministries coming together, we're going to hit every corner. Mm -hmm. We're going to come out with our t-shirts. And I'm going to meet with them Wednesday because we will have flyers. And we will furnish. We will do something naturally. And we will do something spiritually. We will partner with Hot Dogs. And I thank God for uh, Sister Yolanda. She said, give me the letter. Her uncle will supply the hot dog bonds. He works for the company. And um, we will do chips, water, and whatever we can. And right. we will hit the streets running. And we will do evangelizing. We will do it like we did on 53rd and Madison Street. And we will broadcast, have the doors open, and we will do it out on the street. And this is the beginning of us trying to run. Everybody is not a street minister. We learned that Apostle is not a street minister. I don't know anybody was out there on 62nd and Damon when we went out on the street. Cassandra, um, I believe we went out there and we hit the, I think Elta Johnson, she was out there on the street. But we, we found Apostle and he had about six people and it looked like he had them like this. <laughs> they looked like they was under arrest. <laughs> As he was, he had him under arrest out there. He does what he does in the pulpit. Amen. But we thank God. And the Lord had been dealing with us with that. Um, as far as getting out there again, and we want to do it before the weather change. And hopefully we can do it one Saturday of this month. If I can get there and reach um, with, uh, we got deterred a little bit because of circumstances and situations. And, but we're trying to do this. I know that, um, and the Lord had been dealing with me with this bullhorn for a long, it's powerful too, it has a siren on it. So I know I get some attention because it sounds like the police is coming when you put it on, it's just that loud. So I just thank God that I'm excited because I had been seeing this and I'm asking Elder D to be a part of this. Amen, I'm asking for some commitment. And uh, I know that we, Cornerstone, you're small but you did a lot. You do a lot. You accomplish a lot. When I looked and saw you yesterday, when how this little group fed over 200 and some people, fed the crowd yesterday. Little, but you do a lot. 
So I thank God. So I thought that if we get out there, Brother Charles, you still have your T-shirt, right? We come. So Brother Charles, you will be out there. You will. You will have somebody on the rest with Apostle too. Amen. <laughs> but we're going to be ministering. Uh um, Brother Willie, we need your that you 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 put that T-shirt on and you look like you can get somebody out there. Amen. You look like you can talk. Amen. So we're looking for you to come out there too. Is it all right? Yes, ma'am. Amen. We, we need that foot soldier. He used to get up here and he'd tell Apostle, I'm a foot soldier, Apostle. I, I miss that part of Willie. He's coming up here being a foot soldier. Amen. So we're going back out. So church, we in order to reach, we got to go out. And what may, really made me realize, I'm talking to people coming by and those that came in. Man said, I walked this street for years and I never knew this was a church. So we need to make our presence known beside the food pantry. They knew it was a church when we were feeding over a thousand a month. They knew that it was a church then, but we must have, and when we say feeding out of a thousand a month, the lines will be down the block coming into Cornerstone. So they do know it's a church here, but we got to give them some spiritual food because even with the food, when the food runs out, even with Jesus, when they had no food, they, they didn't want to follow but we want to feed them spiritually, reach them naturally and spiritually. And uh, so we're ready to jump out in this. Minister Rowley, you had something to say? Yeah, I just wanted to say if you want to put a date on my next off day for Saturday will be the 13th because I'll be on vacation at the week. The week of the 7th. That's in August. Yeah. We need some little bit more time. We need a little bit more time. So my next Sunday is I know. We need a little bit more. Oh, the flyers. <laughs> 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 I'm tell you, we can do this. I'm going to tell you how we can do this. We can do it in two weeks. If I could get 20 people to give me $20. Amen. Amen. We want to feed. We want to do this. We can do this. See, it takes finance. It takes everything. Amen. We can, we can do it. We can put a praise on it. Amen. We'll see. We'll talk. But well, I thank God. And, 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 and Pam, I'm just stuck on that brokenness. I'm just stuck. I thank God for that word. And But what 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 I just want to say this. You said that one thing he did when he looked out at the lust and how he spiraled down. But as I was looking in my footnotes, there was 20 things that he paid for that one thing. For that one thing that he did. Even when Nathan prophesied to him, when David slept with Bathsheba, he was prophesied, what you did in the dark will be done in the light. And he lost 10 of his wives was his son slept with them. And he said the sword will never Pass from his house from that one thing. Yeah. I, I want the church to think about that when you decided to you decide to do something from that one thing. David's sons turned against him. From yes, God forgave him and didn't kill him, but for that one thing, what he had to pay. Think about it when you're making a choice. It's not worth that one thing. Man. So I, I was sitting there, I said, my God, that one thing will cause you to repay. You won't pay. What you won't pay one way or the other. Yes, he forgives. But we was talking about that in Sunday school. It's that seed that you planted. It's going to grow. It has a way of coming back. So I thank God for that word. I was really blessed on it. And thank God again for you all at Cornerstone. Brother Charles, thank you because you had to clean up two times. Amen. And we appreciate you for the work you're doing in the church. So God bless you all. Amen. Amen. So with that being all, we're going to ask you to stand.